Looks like you finished chapter 7. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a review of chapter 7. I'm going to ask you some questions and I'm going to give you some time to work out the answers and then show you what the answers are, or at least what I think they should be. So here are the questions on chapter 7 to help you remember what was in it. I'll show you these questions and read them to you and then you can pause the video if you don't want to see the answers right away, if you want to think about yourself. So the first question I've got for you, who was the lion shouting at? Elmer came across the lion and the lion was shouting. Why was the lion shouting? He was annoyed, upset about something. What was it? Why was the lion worried about his mother coming across on the dragon? What was the lion going to do with Elmer? Elmer helped the lion. How did he help him? How did Elmer escape from the lion? And the last question is, what do you think will happen next? Look ahead to the chapter next. What do you think is going to happen? If you don't want to see the answers right away, pause the video now. Otherwise, you're going to see them shortly. Who was the lion shouting at? He was shouting at himself. Why was the lion shouting? Because his mane was in a mess. It was full of blackberry twigs. Why was the lion worried about his mother coming across on the dragon? Because his mother hated messy manes. And she might stop his allowance. He might get no more pocket money. What was the lion going to do with Elmer? He was going to eat him up. How did Elmer help the lion? Elmer showed the lion how to take care of his mane. He gave the lion a comb, a brush and some ribbons to make his mane really neat and tidy. How did Elmer escape from the lion? The lion was so busy taking care of his mane that he didn't see Elmer leave. And then always my last question, what do you think will happen next? Will he meet another animal? How will he escape? Will his life be in danger again? You'll have to read chapter 8.